This is the beginning of part three of the video walkthrough on the blog module. So we have added our blog categories on the right side. Blog tags, we don't add anything here because uh, the blog tags area will be based on the tags that we place when we are creating our blog entry. So now, just to give an example, let's create one entry here. So to, to create a, a blog entry, you just go to the new blog uh, module and then we click on add blog entry. So let's click there. Okay, so here's where we're gonna enter our new blog entry. We can specify the, the entry uh, date. It comes with the uh, default current time uh, set there. We can specify what is the uh, blog parent. In our case, we just have one one blog. We have just created one blog, and here's the title. I'm just I have just selected the a random uh, article on the web to use as an example. Now here's the title, and here is the the summary that shows uh, in the first page before you go to the uh, blog and blog post details. So I'm just gonna paste here. We can format that uh, using the uh, HTML text editor. So here's a summary. Here's the full blog post. And I have selected some stuff here as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm not going to worry about formatting. Again, that's that, that goes beyond this topic. But you can you can do any formatting that you, that you want. Now, under tags, uh, I can I can put some some uh, uh, tags here that will be used for the tag module. For instance, I can call this as tips. Well, I can also uh, put uh, tutorial. So uh, what will happen here is that two tags will be created for for this uh, particular blog blog entry. Now we have created two categories, so we can check which category this uh, blog post belongs to. So I'm going to select uh, design and I can display a copyright notice. I'll just refresh my page for some reason. I'm going to uh, allow users to comment on this blog entry. That's fine. I'm going to keep this checked and I'm going to display a copyright notice at the bottom of, of my entry here. So let me check this one as well. So um, at the end, we can save as a draft if we don't want to publish now, or we can save and publish. In our case, let's go ahead and save and publish. OK, so here, here's our post. It's showing the summary uh, part in, this, in the listing page. And then if, if you click on either the title of the post or read more, you're going to see the full article page. Let's click there. So as you can see, the full article is here. We have a bunch of options uh, added because I'm the owner. The tags are placed here: tips and tutorial. Uh, then we can we can put comments. Uh, in a second, I'm gonna log out from the site so we can see what the end user would be seeing right here. So let's go back to the first page. Now I'm just gonna show you that. Oh, see blog tags, those two tags that we have added, it says one beside each one because, again, we just have one entry and that entry talks about tips and talks about tutorials. So if I want to filter all the blog posts uh, that are related to tutorials, I can click on tutorial and it will filter the, the module accordingly. In our case, we just have one entry. Uh, you see, also on the, under blog categories, we have one besides design because we have categorized that blog post as uh, design. Now let's have a look at how this is looking like when we are logged out. Let's click log out. Okay, so here's how it looks like. Not very pleasing yet because again, we need to rename the the module. Uh, titles, and I'll rename that in a second. I personally don't like to have the minimize, maximize uh, icon. I also don't like the, the printing option. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back, log back in, and I'm going to rename those things, change, re, re, uh, remove those print, remove those maximize, minimize. So I'm going to 
log back in for that. Okay, so to to uh, remove print, remove, maximize, and rename the the title, I'm just going to go to the action menu and go to uh, settings. In other settings, I can call this uh, blog posts. Uh, that's the module title. I'm, I can expand page settings and I can uncheck uh, allow print and I can uh, under collapsible collapse expand I can say none. If I click update the module in the middle will not, no longer have uh, the print option nor the maximize, maximize and, the, and the title now looks a little bit uh, better. Now I'm going to do that for all different uh, modules here. Okay, so now I have renamed and, and changed, removed, have removed the, the print option, maximize option. There are two modules that I haven't mentioned yet, which is uh, recent entries and recent comments. Those are template based modules that you can uh, specify that you want to, uh, how you want to show the most recent entries and the most recent comments. If you go, for instance, to the uh, settings of most the recent entries you have a template based uh, code HTML code that you can customize to show uh, the the 10 or 20 uh, most recent entries of your blog module now this only makes sense I'm just gonna update here this will only make sense if you are using this module in a, in a in a in a different page because the main uh, blog module is already doing that for you. This this blog post module at top here is already doing that for you. So if you want to go to another page that that the blog module is not there yet, you may want to use the recent entries and recent comments to to do just that to to list the top ten comments, five comments, five entries in another page and link back to the module. So in our case here, I'm just gonna delete those two modules from our page. Okay, so uh, we have I have deleted the, the two modules that I was talking about. Now let's log out and see how this page is looking like. I'm hoping that it's looking much better. Yes, it is. So we have search at the top, blog lists, then we have the archive, which uh, 27th is checked because it's today and again, it's the post that, I'm, that I have just done. If I click on the calendar, it will filter based on the day. Now, you can also see the tags. I'm going to log back in and I have something else to show in regards to the tags module. So I'm back in and if I click on the settings of the tags module, there are two ways that we can show those tags. We can show them as a tag list, which is the way it is right now, or tag cloud. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to give an example of what a tag cloud is. A tag cloud 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 is this. Here's an example in uh, my own website dnnhero.com. If we scroll in the videos page, if we scroll down, you'll see that this is a tag cloud because I have many many uh, posts. So each each link of those is one tag and the more you use that tag, the bigger the the the, the font of that tag will be. So uh, if we go back to the blog page, if we if we click on the tag cloud and click update, let's see how see the tags are showing. Yeah, they have the same size because they were used uh, only once each each one of those tags. So uh, they they have the same size. But again, you can list the tags as a list or in a tag cloud. This is the end of part three of the video walkthrough on the blog module.